Hi, this is Eccentric Scientist. You can't taste anything your saliva can't dissolve. And welcome to ES Einsteinium. To be healthy is not the same as being fit. Being healthy means that you are free of infection and diseases, whereas being fit is a measure of how well you can perform physical tasks. For example, I could be able to run 5 kilometers, making me fit, but have the flu, which makes me not healthy. Fitness can be measured in different ways. Strength, speed, agility, flexibility are all measured, but also stamina to see how long you can keep going. Stamina is a good indication of your cardiovascular efficiency, or simply how well your heart can pump oxygen to your muscles. It is measured by measuring oxygen intake when exercising, and by measuring your blood pressure. The human body is a large thing, so large in fact that the heart has to be split into two sections so it can pump everything around. The way it works is by pumping blood to your lungs at a low high pressure. When it comes back full of oxygen, it pumps it to the rest of the body at a high high pressure. It does this because the pressure required to get the blood to your fingers and toes would damage the lungs. The heart causes pressure by contracting and forcing the blood into tubes called arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries have thicker walls so they can cope with the pressure and not burst causing massive blood loss. Veins don't need thicker walls as they cope with the low pressure, but they have valves to stop the blood flowing backwards because they're working against gravity. Capillaries have tiny tubes that connect your arteries and veins together and also to all the cells. They have thin walls but don't burst as there's millions of them which spread the pressure out so each individual one has a low pressure. Blood pressure is at its highest when the heart contracts. This is called systolic pressure. When the heart relaxes, it is at its lowest pressure and it's called diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury. We use mercury because it's a dense liquid at normal temperature, so in medical equipment it's easy to detect. A healthy person shouldn't be higher than 135 systolic and 85 diastolic. Other factors can affect your blood pressure, such as smoking, being overweight, drinking too much alcohol, stress. These all cause your heart to work harder and possibly cause problems later in life. High blood pressure can cause blood vessels to burst and even lead to strokes, brain damage and kidney damage. High blood pressure can decrease by making lifestyle changes, such as eating a balanced diet or doing regular exercise. Low blood pressure is less common as it's caused when a person gets dehydrated, when they get older sometimes, prolonged bed exposure and varying other reasons. It causes poor circulation. This means that the cells don't get all the oxygen and glucose they require for their jobs. The brain also doesn't, so the person can get dizzy and even faint. My advice to you is to get your blood pressure checked frequently. Now, I'm the eccentric scientist. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed. Hit subscribe for more videos. Drop me a comment. Au revoir.